Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'm going to show you a Wi-Fi camera that is being sold at Walmart.com for $39, which is a pretty decent price. But if you go in physically at the store and look for it in the electronics section, you will see that they actually price this rollback price of 25 bucks. So I don't know if this pricing is local to me, but you can check out your local Walmart and comment down below if it is the same price. But for $25, I just have to have it. It surprised me because it is a licensed Universal Studios product. Now, I'll tell you right now, overall, this is a pretty good HD Wi-Fi camera. And it gets better if you can get it for $25. I'll show you the unboxing setup discuss the features and show you some sample footage in this video. So let's start. This is the Stuart cam from Despicable Me. It is a high definition Wi-Fi camera. They didn't specify the quality but Amazon states that it is a 720p camera. On the back, it features a pet highlight reel which gives you a snapshot of your pet's day with a video tailored just for you. This camera uses the Tend app for both iOS and Android phone. Also, it has a free cloud storage. So the camera records motion-triggered events to a cloud with free lifetime one-day storage. This is going to be a negative for this camera that it doesn't have a local recording like a micro SD card storage option. So it is a Wi-Fi camera which uses an app to set up, connect, and control the camera. It has a night vision and also two-way audio communication. So let's open it up. We have here a Minion, Stuart, and it looks pretty cute. The camera adjusts on a ball joint which have a good adjustment range and also has slots to install to a wall or ceiling. And it looks like a toy which is a good thing especially if you're going to use it as a baby or a nanny cam. It has a good range of adjustment on different installation setups. You can loosen the ball joint to be able to adjust the camera position and tighten it up to secure it. I'll put this on top of my kids room nightstand. On the back of the camera is a setup switch and several LED status lights. To initially set up the camera, you will need to toggle the switch up. To enter the setup mode. Also on the back is the plug-in for the power supply. Let's check out the rest of the box. So here we have some installation screws with plastic anchors for drywall or masonry installs. We have the power adapter, which has a 10 foot long cord. And we have the quick installation guide. Which is pretty easy to follow. Now, to set it up, we have to download the Tend app. Plug in the camera and toggle the switch up to enter the setup mode. Wait for the status lights to match up like the one in the installation guide. Go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and click on the Stuart Cam Network. Then go and open up the app. Click on setting up a new camera, choose the steward cam, and pick the mouth that matches your camera and type in a name. And I'll name mine Stuart. Click next. Then you will choose which Wi-Fi we are going to use.
click next again and type in your Wi-Fi's password and click join then the camera will be connecting to your Wi-Fi then you need to either create an account or log in to an existing account if you already have one finally flip the setup switch back down to camera mode click next and the setup is complete you just need to log in so as to be able to view your camera and when you first logged in you will see these user guides on how to use the app so just click next when you're done and you will also be prompted to update the firmware if needed when everything is updated this is the main screen that you will see you can turn the phone to view in landscape mode in this screen you can adjust the volume use the two-way communication in which you need to push to talk but there is another feature of this camera that makes it more fun you can select the minion icon and it will change your voice to a minion voice when you are talking through the camera I will demo this feature later on you can click on the upper right gear icon to go to the settings where you can adjust the volume of the speaker in the camera there is motion detection in which to record your footage you need to enable the event recording and you will then have an option to adjust the sensitivity of the motion detector you can also turn on notifications so that you will be notified if the camera senses motion then you can schedule the time range and days you want to get notified you also have an option to share your camera footage just type in their email and they will be prompted to download the app and sign up so that they'll be able to view the camera now we have the night vision where you can turn it on or off or automatic we have the rotation so that you can flip the camera view when you install it like in the ceiling and we have the time zone and basically that's it now as you can see the camera started notifying me this camera also has a feature called pet highlight reels which you can generate a time-lapse video of your pet including a background music I don't have a pet so I'll just give you a link of a video demonstrating it on the description down below on the play icon on the bottom it will show you the recorded events just scroll down to find the video you want to watch click on the video to play it and it will be labeled as watched after you are done click on the download icon to save a copy of the video to your phone remember that it says that videos will only be saved for 24 hours but check out my recordings I have a recording from Sunday and if you scroll down it still saved all the recordings the last five days so we will see how long it usually saves the videos in the next couple of weeks but it is better to save any videos you want to keep as soon as you can all right this is a test of the steward cam can you hear me yes sir loud and clear now how about the minion voice Yeah, that's pretty clear. What did you do today? Went to school so I can learn how to make banana bread. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. 
Thank you. Now let's check out some video footage. This is daytime video with lights on. This is nighttime, no lights and with infrared on. I also placed this camera in our living room just to see how wide the field of view is because there are no specs printed anywhere on the box for this camera. Overall, this camera is a good buy especially if you can get it for 25 bucks. The only negative that I can see would be the cloud recording, which is supposedly limited to only one day. But for now, it seems like it is keeping my recordings on the last five days. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'm hoping you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified of new videos, hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.